a strict structure, doesn't that stop you from being creative? Well, you're listening to Dan, the podcast about good structure at work. I'm David Stjernholm and this 578th episode is about how structure actually can free up your creativity. But first, if you want to become more efficient through organization, you need to declutter things you no longer use. But how? Well, in a short post on the Structure blog, I show you. There's a link in the show notes. Creativity and structure, do they go together? Doesn't structure hamper free creativity? That's a question and fear I hear people express now and then. I usually answer that creativity and structure are the best of friends. Because if I have a lot to keep in mind and make sure I remember everything, I'm not very creative. My head is so full of must-haves that there is no room for new ideas. Now, it seems that I have been vindicated. A recent study by the University of Ohio researcher Courtney S. Roday looked into cognitive load, in other words, having a lot on your mind, and its effect on creativity. Roday had the participants in the study do an exercise where they were asked to come up with as many alternative uses as possible for three very mundane objects. During the exercise, some participants were also asked to remember both a single number and a seven-digit number sequence. The other participants didn't have to remember anything. It turned out that the participants who didn't have to remember any numbers came up with significantly more alternative uses than the others. They were thus more creative, in this particular regard at least. Additionally, their ideas were more varied, while the ideas of those who had to think of numbers at the same time were more alike. And this is interesting and relevant, as all of us who have to find solutions to problems in our work need to be creative, even if our title is not creator. One thing structure helps us with is lowering the cognitive load, in that we don't have to remember as much if we have a good structure. Do this. Find out what you can do with your structure to facilitate your creativity and avoid being unnecessarily hindered. The next time you need to do something where you need to come up with something new, find a new solution or get a new idea and you're having difficulty focusing, pay attention to what is going on in your head and competing for your attention. That can be a clue as to how you can refine your structure. Is it something you mustn't miss doing? Question yourself and consider if you have written down everything you have to do so you can let go of the thoughts. Is it a more general feeling of... There's so much now. Empty everything you have on your mind onto a sheet of paper and make a mapping of what it is that is so much. If this clarification and relief feel good, consider emptying your head in the same way more often than before. Is such a mapping something you should do every week? Because if the structure keeps track of everything, you can let go of the thoughts when you need your cognitive capacity for creativity. You have less to think about and can enjoy the freedom of looking for bold solutions to the yet unsolved problems you have at hand. What in your structure helps you be creative the most? Please write to me and let me know. I'm also interested in these aspects of how we work as smoothly as possible, so I look forward to hearing from you. The address is, as usual, david at Thanks for today and I'll see you next week.